What's up, Internet? We are here with Ever Blue. I once did a review on the sequel to this, which was a game I remember being shown on VNA Top 10, which is a very important part of my childhood. Um, unlike the sequel, though, this one was exclusive to Europe, and we're playing this mostly because I actually intended to stream this. <clears throat> Ugh, I already lose my voice. I intended to stream this a couple nights ago, but I ran into this little issue where uh, my PS2 wouldn't display anything. So, we're also doing this to test to see if my PS2 still actually works. Now, fortunately, I had to record some Saturn stuff uh, the other day, and I noticed that the problem persisted. So, I'm, I'm thinking the problem wasn't the PS2. The, the issue was that the video and audio was cutting out pretty awful. So, uh, I, I kind of figured that it was the AV ports on my, my PS2. But because it affected my Saturn, I, I checked to make sure it was uh, my recording device. And it seems my old recording device is just sort of dead. So that's not... Well, I'm honestly not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Because my PS2 is a, a rare limited variant. And it's heavily modified. I, I've spent a lot of money on my PS2 and all the work I've put into it. Uh, so that getting broken sucks. And, and would take forever to fix and then replace. But counterpoint... Uh, losing a recording device kind of sucks, and I think this isn't going to look quite as good. So there's a door blocking your way, press the R1 or X button, open it. There we go. But, uh, yeah, so uh, unfortunately my recording device is uh, unfortunately dead, and I actually bought that recording device like a year ago to the date, so it's not like I can just get it repaired or anything, <laughs> which sucks. Oh, I'm angry about that. Uh, but fortunately, my, my Elgato is still working. Unfortunately, I think that means that the screen's going to be a, a tad bit blurrier than my SD recorder, but it is what it is. But I, I wanted to pick a Saturn game, and it was either going to be this or Ichigeki Sachu, which was uh, a game I was really excited to play as well, but uh, I left it up to the Discord to vote for, and they wanted... They wanted a chill scuba stream, so I'm cool with that. And, I mean, we've got video right now, so I'm, I'm thinking I was probably right and my, my PS2 is fine, which is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was a shark. That was a shark. Hi, Mr. Shark, or Mrs. Shark. Oh, God, it's an angry shark. Run away! Oh, he's gone. There are sharks in this game, and, and uh, other... Oh, we're in a big, full-on diving suit. Nice. As, as opposed to, like, a little... A little, uh... Oh, God! It's back! Wait a minute. There's a Chaos Emerald in there. And I think they uh, just triggered trap, and now our diver guy is dead. Uh-oh. 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 The Chaos Emerald... Actually, it looks more like a refractor. Oh, I really want to play some uh, Mega Man Legends now. <laughs> it's activated the Whirlpool mode. And unfortunately, we somehow, I guess, died. Or something. <laughs> Time skip. Now Leo's our protagonist. He's the protagonist in the sequel, so I assume he's the protagonist here. I was trapped in some ruins. Uh, I mean, it was underwater. I might have died. There was a shark that knocked over a trap and then disappeared because he didn't seem to get locked in with me, but didn't seem to get out either. He just, he was a ghost shark. Alright. Alright, I'm with you. Let's go swimming. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get it from the apartment. Town Edge. 
That's the appraisal place. Now, the, the thing is, my sequel to this that I reviewed forever ago, Synthetics Apartment, way off in the corner because that's easy. My, my PS2 uh, sequel to this, uh, unfortunately, it's super messed up, so there's no audio on it, and if it has to load anything, uh, it, it dies instantly. So, you know, this is the advantage of playing off a hard drive. Also, I can play PAL games on my Japanese PS2, which is also quite nice. The sad thing about the sequel being in North America, but not the original, is if I recall, if you have save data of a consistent um, region, you get some sort of bonus in the sequel, I think. But, of course, that wasn't released in North America, so we're just SOL. Okay, so we can get all sorts of stuff. Your suit is the most important piece of equipment. Your tank determines how long it can stay underwater. That's important. I learned how to scuba dive once, although I, you know, I, I live right next to the mountains in a landlocked uh, province, so it's like not, I, I never got to use that knowledge anywhere, but I learned how to do it in a public pool once, it was fun. Okay, uh, dangers. The alarm mark will be displayed to certain danger conditions, something, something, readings hard. There's three alarm types, a tank alarm, a suit alarm, and a sack alarm. Tank is when you're about to drown, so, you know, pay attention to that. Uh, yeah, running out of air, extremely dangerous. Uh, the suit alarm will be shown when you dive beyond the capabilities of your suit and you get crushed under pressure, and, and then your guts just, like, spill out of your eyeballs and stuff. So, you know, pay attention to the depth in which you can swim. This is common diving knowledge. And your sack alarm is when you've ripped your sack and lost all your treasure, basically. Okay, you can throw away items using the sack menu when underwater. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go back. So I'm done reading. I want to go diving. First, go diving. Then find sunken ship. Where will I find a ship? That's useful. <laughs> Eventually you'll find one. <laughs> okay, so attach the element to the sonar. Then find treasure. Okie doke, how do I go... Do I just need to talk to you again? Uh, sonar! There we go, okay. Equipped, wood element. There we go. And there's a total number of sockets, so we can actually search for multiple things at once. See, the thing about this game, and, and its sequel if I remember, is that you can't actually see treasure as you're swimming around unless you're in like a ruin or a wreck or something. Instead, it's all invisible, and you just have to ping things, and they just sort of randomly spawn on the map around you. I didn't like this, but that's because I my intro to this series was actually uh, its sequel, Forever Blue, also known as Endless Ocean, where you could actually see stuff on the, the floor of the sea. So unfortunately, it's, it's a little less detailed and interesting, which is a real shame, because when you do get to the wrecks and stuff, you do actually get to see stuff like like physically existing in the world okay so let's go diving yeah so you can't see the treasure you'll hunt which I I think is probably just a a, a way of you know making the game run a little bit better because if it had to render extra stuff in the world it would be a little less good okay so how do I ping the radar Oh, hold on. Wood stick. I don't think we need that. Okay, so... Oh. Sure, let's take it. So because we've set wood as an element on our sonar, it'll show up. And we just have to ping it a whole bunch of times. And it really only reacts to, like, the direction you're facing. Alright, we're getting close. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. 
I think we're going a little too deep for our diving suit, so let's not go there. And there's nothing over in that direction. This is one thing I didn't like about um, this sequel, because I'm pretty sure it was like this as well. You don't really have any like actual control over exploration here. Like, in terms of height and, like, looking at stuff. Instead, you just sort of always have your camera panned at one, one angle directly at the sea floor. And you're just supposed to, like, navigate on, like, the x-axis as, as opposed to the y-axis. Or rather, it's x and y, but no z-axis. This is some sort of either man-made reef or a, a broken building or something. You know, Endless Ocean, you could train a dolphin to swim around with you. It was pretty useless, but you could do it. Also, there was music. Not that I could ever play any of it, because it was all copyrighted on YouTube. Oh, I'm sad about that. I really like that game, too. That was a weird game, though, because... Like, it, it was a game that was mostly about nothing. And then, like, at the 11th hour, for literally, like, 50 seconds, there was, like, a threat. And then it just disappeared, and it was done. <laughs> There was weird pacing in Everblue. Or, uh, uh, uh what was it? Uh, Endless Ocean. Endless Ocean 2 at least added, like, threats and stuff. Like, you, you had to shoo away sharks using, like, your sonar gun or whatever, or else they'd bite you. Whereas in, in uh, Endless Ocean 1, there were a bunch of sharks, but you could pet them, and they were nice. Although there was, like, one super, like, angry mutant shark that would try and bite you, but it would do nothing. It was just an animation of it snapping at you. Because it's like, maybe don't pet the big super creepy shark. But, no. I've always liked stuff like this, and I, I kind of am surprised there aren't more games about, like, scuba diving and stuff. Like, even if it was just taken to some kind of extreme where there was, you know, scuba diving on an alien planet while shooting monsters or something. But I think at that point people would just complain that it's all underwater. Alright, let's surface. We do have some stuff. We're not finding a shipwreck right now. Okay, so we found some wood sticks. Oh, and we found a sailor's cap and a hotel register. So let's see. Go to the appraisals on the town edge and see what we can get for it, alright? I was gonna get your crap appraised, obviously. They're also a locksmith. That's important. <laughs> Appraise the wood stick. For 500. It's a boomerang! Rock and roll. Uh, I just want to take a look and see what my stuff is. I can't actually look at it in that menu. Okay, fine. We'll look at the inventory menu. Okay. Is there no, like, just searching for stuff? I want to find flavor text. <laughs> Tell me about the boomerangs and how I can fight sharks with them. Read the hotel register. Is there anything here that tells me there's going to be awesome treasure in a hotel somewhere that I can steal? I think that's pretty useless, actually. Okay, there's an inn, although our apartment's right next door, so I'm not sure how useful that is. Uh, synthetics. What's in here? Temporary clean clothes. Let's talk to some other people. Uh, it's clo- thank you. Use the map to look at stuff. Take good care of your tools, obviously. Not like my my freaking thing that broke. Alright, so we paid about 500 for each of these boomerangs to be looked at. And they're almost worth 3,000. So that's not bad. Oh, now there's flavor text. Okay. So I have to sell it to look at it. Or I have to be in like the sale thing. Okay, that's cool. They have, like, a little bit of dialogue just to say, Oh, hey, you sold it before I even told you to? Nice. 
Can I look at the birds? Is there a secret for looking at the birds? Because they're up there. They're animated. There's got to be a secret to these birds. Nope. Oh, I can look at the lighthouse, though. Rock and roll. Huh. I feel like there wasn't that examined thing until I actually like clicked on it, but... Try to bring back at least three more things. Okay, so we've got a goal here. We need three things. Do I have to re-equip that? No, it's, it's equipped. Alright, so... The sonar pinging button is L1, which is a little weird. That's always been, like, the one thing I dislike, though, is just, you know, you can't see the treasure. It, it especially sucks because there is, you know, the game shows that there's very clearly, like, the ability to put physical, like, object models in the world. Okay, we can't go past 10 meters. And unless our thing pings it, it doesn't seem like we can actually just search stuff. Because I'm just button mashing the search button everywhere. And it's like, nope, there's nothing here. As long as your sonar can't perceive it, there's nothing here. Okay, there's something off in this direction. There it is, a umbrella. Okay, so we need two more pieces of gear. Oh. There's a boomerang. Okay, so it does actually go and um, fill in all the, the text and, and flavor information if you've already got something appraised. That's cool. It even tells us the sale price in advance. And that does not look like a boomerang. Okay. So we need one more item. It's pretty far away and we can't really go an extra meter before we start having problems. Come on. I think it's going further away. Oh god, we passed it, and our health is deteriorating. That's not so good. There was a thing out here. We went this way. We passed it somehow. Okay, well, let's do the logical thing. Nothing. Nothing. At least our stamina builds back up, that's good. Our oxygen doesn't, though. So we're still pretty limited with what we can do. Nothing. Don't really want to go back that way. Oh god, we're about to though. Well, we found something. Looks like a wall. Okay, it keeps leading us in places where we're gonna die if we go, but... So let's get back to 10 meters. I'm uh, noticing that that meter is not climbing. We're still at 11, so we're still taking damage. That's concerning. Oh god, we're getting deeper in the water. That's not good. Do you even need an oxygen tank for, for 10 meters. At this point, isn't that just snorkeling? Oh god, I'm, I'm running out of oxygen rather quickly. Come on, I need one more piece. I'm, I'm sure I don't need to have them all three at once, but I like to do it anyway. Come 
Come on. Oh, hey, we found something cool. Looks like it's right around. Pretty far away now. There it is, we found some clogs, it looks like. Seeing as we've got the wood sensor on. Alright, so let's surface before we die. Horribly. Thanks to the power of pressure and suffocation. Okay, so keep all. Alright. And, found a mandolin and some high top shoes. I don't think those are my style. I could be wrong about that, though. That jerked sow. Alright. I remember... I, I think I remember reading about this guy, because, like, he, he issues you, like, a racing challenge, and, like, they even show you the kind of gear he had to make that time, and it's like, you can't actually get that time with his gear, you need better stuff. Alright, we have to find Luca's treasure, the famous writer on the island who passed away recently. Interesting. There's a rumor that he hired a boat just before he died and went out to sea with a box. So we want to get this treasure box, huh? Alright, sounds like a plan. But first, let's, let's sell some crap. Grace some dirty shoes, they were clogs. The umbrella was a parasol. Thank you for that. <laughs> I don't think that's really all that useful a thing. I don't need to go to bed, but I do need to sell all this stuff. Uh, is there a sell all button? There does not appear to be. Fine. It seems that going left does not like increase the max value either. You have to like manually go right on that, which is a little annoying. Oh, there's birds, there's a fountain. Several coins, this guy's telling me we can't go that way. Fruits and vegetables, nice. Is that a cup of coffee or a cookie or something? There's something on that table and I want it. Maybe one of these people has some information on the treasure. Okay, what about down here? The writer Luca. Oh, you're Luca's widow. Well, there's apparently a box and a ship that was hired. And I need both those things. Okay, you sold every last thing at the shop. There might be a clue there. Alright, let's go to the shop. Which would be, I guess, this lady? Luca's letters. Alright, let's take that. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Let's read the letters. Okay. Do, 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 do. So he planned at... He planned on that boat sinking or something? He plans to put his treasure at the bottom of the sea. He had a master carver craft a chest, and in that chest he put his treasure, and he chartered a, a ship to go out to the darkest night, and then sank the treasure. Were you planning on having that boat sink, or were you planning on them just heaving it overboard exactly? Due west of the harbor. Rocks surrounded by reef. Okay. So we gotta go west, and look for a rock surrounded by a reef. Oh, that's gonna be a problem, because we can only go to about 10 meters, but let's see what we can do and hopefully not die. Okay, so we gotta go west. North, east, south. Okay, so roughly in this direction. Is there a map? 
Okay, so probably right around here, I figure. Fan Rock. Now, I noticed something. Also, for some reason, they reoriented me looking east, not west. That's very helpful. Uh, our air did not get replenished. So this... Alright, let's grab that boomerang. Actually, what we'll do is we'll surface, appraise, sell boomerang. I assume taking a nap at the inn will do a thing. We got some sneakers, not that they help us down there. It would be nice if I could get, like, something that gives me a better... I already have... Oh, I see, because I've already appraised the boomerang. I know what it is, so I can just sell it, I guess. I'm gonna hold on to those letters. I don't know if that's strategically gonna help make sure that the the rival does not get the information he needs, but I'm gonna hold on to it anyway. There we go. Okay, so we gotta go west. Look for a rock. Hopefully don't drown, because they're throwing us into a situation that we're not actually equipped for. Which I find peculiar. But, alright. Alright, well. Might as well grab some extra loot, since we can. Well, there's something out in this direction. Although it's likely not what we're looking for. Because I said it would be between, like, 12 and 17 meters, I think. Alright, we passed it, but... Given the kind of abuse we're about to go and put ourselves through, we probably don't want to lose too much health early on, or air. Okay, well, we're at 12, 13. There's a nice little seahorse. 14. Not seeing anything. Alright, well, our sonar's picked something up, anyway. Whoop. Okay, there's something out there, but it's further away than the thing we actually scanned. There it is, Luca Chest. When he was alive, carved out of cedar, tightly secured. Put it in the sack. I don't know how I feel about this mission, because I, I feel like it's here to teach you that... You can go beyond what your limits are and not immediately die, but at the same time, I feel like they should probably not put it, like, so far out, either. Because here, I'm feeling like I'm actively discouraged from going out here and checking this stuff out. Okay, that's one problem I noticed, is like, how does the pinging system work? Like, if I ping there and then rotate that far, does the ping go in the direction I sent it in, or is it relative to where I'm facing now? I, The game is not giving me context for that. Logic would tell me that if we're working with actual physics here, it would send it in the direction I was facing. But it would be hard to maintain that just by the virtue of the fact that if you started rotating, you'd have to rotate back and find the exact angle you shot it off at, too. Ooh, sneakers. I got the box. It's locked, so now we gotta use the appraisal's lock ability. To be fair, we did just steal his job. We're horrible people for that. I feel bad about that. Alright, so let's appraise slash locksmith. Oh, we can appraise a different wood stick. It's charcoal. Cool. Alright, so let's open this. Do I get to sell the chest individually with whatever's inside? There was a... Mega Aid. Knitted Scarf. Can I... Okay, well, we could sell it, but we know that he's got a widow, so maybe we should show it to her. Maybe she can give us some information. So it's a scarf she hand-knitted for him. Interesting. Oh, 
I don't need to take that ring. You can keep that. Do I know of this island's trust coin tradition? We give coins with our name written on it to people as tokens of trust or thanks. Okay. I feel like I don't want to sell that ring. Like, I, I feel like... I don't want to take that for one thing, but I don't want to sell it either. Probably don't need those letters anymore, but she didn't seem to want them. Uh, oh, that could be useful. Stamina recovery, take that. Sell that. Charcoal, 800, not bad. Let's see. A silver ring of Memento of Maria has many nicks, lowering its value. I don't want to actually sell that. I will sell that, though. Uh, keep it. I, I feel like if I give Marco the ring, he's going to sell it, and I feel like that's... I, I don't want to do that just as a personal rule. Ugh, rule, I don't want to do that, you know? Alright, so we're looking for sunken ships tomorrow. Cool. Let's do that thing. Kid got back from the docks. Alright, there's a ferry, huh? Well, let's find out what this whole fairy business is about. Okay, we were out for a swim and happened to find Lucas' treasure. Uh, no, we actively poached his job, and we should apologize for that on top of a bunch of other things, because it seems like our character is not a good person. We did steal that job from him. <laughs> I did do all the work. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Just wait till you find that ship before we do. Fine. Got any tips for it? Okay, so the Fairy Viola. Or Voila. Or Viola. There's there's about 20 different ways you can pronounce that. Sank somewhere inland. Alright. If we say that whoever makes it first wins, then your partner there is likely to lie about it. That's probably true. Whoever brings back the most valuable thing from the ship wins. I get ducky feet? Nice. Do they quack? Do I get a thing that lets me dive further down? Because I, I think that feet are probably not going to... I'm noticing that this isn't really telling me what this stuff actually does. That's... Is it in... No, no, I'm just supposed to understand what the stuff does, I guess. You're just an unknown guy. Okay, fair enough. Marco! Okay, so it's north of the island. Same temp as the one that sunk, you can use it as a map. Okay, so we got a map for when we're actually in there, because of course, once we're in there, we're going to be losing oxygen. we got to know where we're going. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> that's a very useful map. In the sense that that's a completely useless map. That's not even a map of a fairy, that's a carrot. Alright, well let's see if we can buy some uh, better scuba equipment. Because I'd like to have something that lets me, lets me dive a little deeper. It doesn't look like there's any place I can just buy stuff, huh? Alright, fine. So they said it's north... We'll try going north. Don't have a lot of uh, time out there. Because our, our air and stamina are going to be draining pretty fast. But let's see what we can find. Alright, there's something out there, but it's pretty far away. Stamina is already draining lost any uh, bead we had on treasure all I know is to go north and I mean we can go north we're doing that but 
Not seeing any boats. Not yet, anyway. Oh, hello. I do believe we found ourselves a boat. Okay, now we just gotta loot it. So let's enter. And here's where we should be able to... Yeah, now we actually have full, like, 360 movement. Okay, so let's open that. Oh, hey, we got a book. It'll probably be illegible because it's underwater. Magazine. A monthly magazine published by Nav. Neve, whatever. A guide to diving spots. Ooh. Yeah, I want that. That'll be useful. Now, of course, our oxygen and stamina are depleting rather quickly. I can't just immediately surface here either. We actually have to actively leave this wreck. So we need to find something cool that's worth a lot of money before we run. Dirty map. How much space do I actually have in my sack, actually, does it say? Uh, I can't even look at my... Well, that's useless. I can't even look at my gear to figure out how much weight I can hold. Alright, well... Music's being all mystical and stuff right now. Hello, what have we here? Is it some sort of... I don't know, but it's a blue tang over there. Ooh, hello. Cloudy bottle. It's too heavy to put in the sack. Uh, but we did it anyway. Uh, but we should probably get out of here, because we're running out of options real fast. Oh god, yeah, we gotta get out of here now. I think we gotta just drop something. Okay, so our stamina... Okay, well, there's some interesting stuff. Let's see if we can get out of here before I die. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Can I swim through the windows? Please tell me I can. Nope. Oh, yes, I can. Go to surface before I die. Ah, I've started to become used to diving. Now my stamina has increased a little. Nice! Alright. I mean, how did I beat you? Like, I don't know what the value of anything I found was. <laughs> I mean, if you want to use Mega Aids to get there, I guess so. I didn't. But I'm apparently a scuba superstar. Alright, so let's appraise that cloudy bottle. And that dirty map is the nautical map. Now what can I sell to uh, this lady? Work gloves. Construction equipment, so I probably can't use that for anything. High top shoes, stuff. Nautical map. So damaged you can't tell what area it shows. Well, that's not going to do us any good then. Alright, there we go. So far we have almost 30,000. And we should probably sleep for the night to regain our stamina so we don't die again. That'd be nice. Alright, so we slept well. Everything's been replenished. Okay, we should save first. Well, it seems like we're okay, so we don't need it, but... Okay. When you're in a ship, not like the ocean, you can't just surface it. Yes, I noticed that. I'm guessing this game will make you dive there a few times before it'll just let you do whatever. Or at least move on to the next sort of thing. So let's go back. I'm thinking as long as we don't overload our, our loot bag, we should be able to maintain stamina a little longer. So I think the trick, the real trick in all this, will be to 
find a way to maximize the best kind of loot we can get. Well, let's do it. Now, how exactly do mega aids work? Because the, the use of the term aid makes me think it's some sort of, like, energy drink or something. But how are you drinking an energy drink while you're scuba diving? Are you getting it pumped into your veins intravenously as, as you're swimming? Or something? Okay, so we're down here. That book respawned. I think everything will respawn. So we could use this just like a source of at least some form of income. But I'm guessing as time goes on, stuff's going to get more expensive and there's going to be better ways to earn more money as, as we keep going. I would think... Because that's just proper progression right there. Necessitate the need to move further and further away as opposed to just sitting around and letting your partner give you free stuff. That looks important. Red shiny stone. Oh, I will take that. Let me take that. Yes, thank you. And that sounds like an important uh, musical little jingle. Hello, what do we hear? Another... It's an old Xbox 360. Or a book. Catalog of alcohol, huh? It's worth 150 G, but it weighs... Or it weighs 150, but it's worth 1,000. I'm not sure how good that actually is. Hello, what have we here? 300 G, an iron case trunk. All right, the green stone contains notes and beliefs of the green stone cult and that'll be too heavy so let's uh let's get out of here we'll go back and we'll see what this red stone is all about maybe we'll get some upgrade parts that'll let us dive a little bit more safely deeply because i want to explore what's down that way because that looks like it's going to go deeper into the ship which means we're going to have to put up with an even greater strain on our stamina and air. So if we could start upgrading our character, that would be quite good. That black void out there, like I, it does not exactly look like what the outside of this area actually is. Like, you know, it's, it's like nice and picturesque and light blue, but the moment you're in there, it's like black void. And again, that's probably to save memory and stuff, but. Alright, we found some work gloves. Hey, we got a title. We're a bronze diver. Okay, so I guess what we were looking for was just an arbitrary plot flag item. So we needed that stone. Okay. That TV stand is, is a lot more valuable because it's practical, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Okay. It looked like generic guy without a name on the pier had something to say about our stone that we found. Oh well, let's go sell it because it, it doesn't matter at all. Alright, and we just gave it away because it guess it didn't matter much to us. So what do we find in the trunk? Got a parasol. Saga of the Dragon, the story of Kazuma Kiryu, obviously. Uh, small coin times one. Do we We have to appraise each of these? That kind of sucks. Alright, so we found a bronze coin. Buff out. We're suddenly in a Fallout game. Okay, so that bronze coin was worth about a thousand more G than everything that we put in to actually buy, or, um, you know, appraise it, but there. Saga of the Dragon. Parasol. Work gloves. Catalog of alcohol. Tastes great. I'm not sure how you're tasting it because, you know, you're scuba diving, but alright. I don't know what buff out actually is. What's this guy's deal? You're new. He's Steel Massimo. 
Okay, so he wants heavy stuff. So if we can find some really heavy stuff, he might uh, give us a something. Oh, you're a pirate, huh? Hmm. All right. I would like to dive deeper, actually. Your friend Zuko. It may not look like much, but it's a large boat. It used to go out all over the waters. Huh. Interesting. I would like to go out to sea, but also I'd like, you know, a, a better dive tank and a suit that won't crumple under pressure. That'd be nice. Wait a minute. 15 years ago, like, like that dream we had that was set 15 years ago and we got that little, like, time change announcement graphic telling us that there was 15 years difference between our dream and now. Was that what was going on? Oi, I need your boat. And also maybe a better pair of swim trunks. Oh, so I just have to... Okay, he dropped a precious 120 grana coin. I'm not sure what that actually equates to in in money, but okay. Okay, not that I think you can find a single coin in the ocean, but here, take this. Got the metal element detector. Where is that coin? Okay, well, let's add it to our radar. And that will take up everything. Now, again, if you don't have an element equipped to your radar, you won't be able to actually find it. Like, you won't be able to detect where it is, and even if you were exactly where something is and you clicked it, it wouldn't show up. So you, you do actually need these things. So let's go find a coin, I guess. You didn't exactly see where he dropped that coin. Did he drop it right off the pier? Okay, we found a pipe. Let's put that in. Maybe it was historically important or something. Didn't exactly say where he lost that coin. That's a bit of an issue. But maybe we'll get some hints if we surface up again. Whoop. Hey, we just found a small wood chunk. Power up button spam. Not really sure where I need to go though. I figure he can't have dropped it far from the land. That's the logic I'm working on here. What if we find something heavy we can give to that bodybuilder? That that might be a victory in and of itself. On the bright side, it doesn't seem like going deeper seems to increase how much stamina it's it's burning. So that's good. Found more wood. You know what we should have done? And I can do it here. Good, good, good. Let's take that off so we can only find metal. Did we just circle the entire island? Because, you know, we're going back to shallower water, which, you know, I appreciate. It's going to be less of a pain for me, but... Okay, I can test this entire structure is made of metal. I should not be in a situation where I'm not detecting any metal off this structure. That's not how that works. Okay. 
What do we have around here? Something weird right below us, but I guess it's just a rock or something. Not that I can look down at it. Because I'm just stuck at this perpetual height. Or depth, rather, I guess. Well, the depth is changing, but my relative height in that depth is uh, constant. Not finding much of anything out here. I think we're going to have to surface rather quickly because it does seem like it's now taking a toll even worse. Or at least in the sense that the little flashy indicator of our wetsuit is... Yeah, let's surface. Just for safety. Alright. Hey, more stamina. That's going to be impressive. I'm aware of that, but I need to know where I'm poking my fingers to actually figure it out. Due east of the rock is a place called, or due east of the island is Fan Rock. Alright, we'll go east then. That's the information we needed. Let's appraise some items. Turns out the, the, the small hunk of wood was a hunk of wood. Who'd have thought? Wonder why Maria's ring is in blue text. Is that just because it's a uh, like quest item or something like that? So I can go to Marco's apartment, which I assume is also mine since we're hanging out together. But I'm forced to sleep in an inn. Okay. Also, Marco's not anywhere, but he's not in his apartment either. Fair enough. Alright, fine. We'll go east. Now we at least have a direction we can go in. And east is this direction. So we gotta go find Fan Rock. And that's where currents push trash, which is likely where that coin is. Or at least, you know, some coin. Or some garbage that might resemble a coin. And he'll take pity on us for finding that instead. Okay, so we need to go east, but I can't because there's a wall in front of us yet. Is that the entire island that we swam around? Because, you know, I, I feel like it would take more than, like, 30 seconds to swim around an entire island. I feel like. Like, even small, tiny, like, private deserted island type things are, are likely bigger than that. Okay, so we're going east. And we're looking for... Fan Rock. And we're getting... Fortunately, our, our stamina and air is not draining at this point. So it looks like this is Fan Rock. Fan Rock is roughly in this direction. So where... is what we're looking at. Alright, well, we're at least uh, gaining some height, so we'll be taking a little bit less of a beating in our stamina, that's important. Alright. This looks like a reef, so I'm guessing something of value is around here. this fan rock? Let's check the map. Yeah, we're pretty much right there. It's depth minus 25. That's where we're at. So now we just gotta find this coin that we're looking for. So hopefully we'll find something that looks like a giant pile of garbage. Of course we won't be able to see it because, you know, Hardware limitations and stuff. 
but maybe we'll find it around here. Seems like there's like a little inward place. If I wanted to mimic like real currents, I'd probably make this like sweep things inward. Hello. Looks like we found something. And that looks like a big pile of garbage. And hey, there's our coin. Minted in the 19th century Italy. So old and worn that the engraving cannot be read. Let's leave it, that seems useless. Let's ignore the fact it's a plot item. Doesn't look like there's anything else around here. Nope, looks like we got everything. Alright, well, we didn't get too much, but let's surface. Alright, so, it, it looks like on the pause menu we can see the, the sack stuff, but in, like the actual inventory and stuff we can't, which is a little weird. We can see it here, but let's throw it away. I found it. How do you know it's yours? It could be any other coin that's exactly that coin. <laughs> Okay, it's been 15 years since I've taken the gal out, like when our nightmare ended. So I guess we might be some kind of prophet or something. But let's let's sleep and, and heal up. Well, where is Marco? Is he in his apartment? No. Is he back on the pier because they just had to re-add his, his uh, character model? Oh, I see. So you're eating the cookie now, are you? I'm going on an adventure. Screw you, Marco. <laughs> well, he seems upset, but that's fine. Hey, wait, hold on. Can I interact with this map? Yes, I can. <laughs> Mysterious treasure found. Oh, so that actually, like, comments on our actual accomplishments and, like, the story. That's kind of neat. Okay. Oh, right, I haven't actually slept. I intended to, but the game wouldn't let me. Right, right, right. It turns out I'm a bad person and I was setting you on a bad path, so go on an adventure without me. I'll just hold you down. So, what... Can I have your apartment so I can stop paying for inns? Please? You slept well. Nope. Just, just his, his apartment's left ransacked with the books he needed, I guess. Oh, good, I actually get a wetsuit now. That would be use, like, a lot earlier in life. Air tank 100. Alright. I want to go explore that ship. Okay, so that's, that's our previous location. I want to go to the ferry. Oh, and I'll just teleport right here. Cool. Okay, so let's see what's on that left path, because I want to see what's down there. That's, that's my adventurer's curiosity. We're at 23 meters underwater right now. Not taking damage anymore. I'm guessing we can probably go to about 30 now. All right, we got a door. What's behind the mysterious door of mystery? <laughs> well, we haven't run into any uh, 
Sharks are... Well, technically we did run into sharks in the prelude, I guess, and that did kill us, sort of. Seasonal magazine about fairies. Hey, some mega aid. That we somehow drink while we're scuba diving. Ooh. Ooh. Got ourselves. Oh, but it's heavy. And if that's heavy, we could probably give it to that guy and maybe make some sort of money off that. Got to get it out of here without, like, drowning, though. Pretty bottle. All right. I'm about to do something really stupid, I'm sure, but we're going to put that into our sack. Fortunately, we've got a lot more stamina than when we first dove here. Let's try and get out of here before we drown. Oh, that's some mega aid. We don't need that. I will say, when you're in the wrecks, it is absolutely freaky how dark it is. It's it's quite spooky. Like even. Looking out there, like the the open ocean is terrifying. That's that's why Subnautica freaks me out so much. But if we could just go outside for a sec, there, it's nice. It's bright. It's picturesque. <laughs> totally the same place we were just a second ago. Okay, so let's surface. Okay, so that should give us something we can give this guy who likes heavy stuff. Nope, too light. Okay, so it has to be appraised as well. Interesting, okay. Okay, try asking Dr. Roberto, the mineralogist. That feels like that's not a real word, but okay. Okay, so we got our stone back. Yeah, Subnautica's... It can be a bit hard as, as well, I, I agree. I think that... The thing that freaked me out about Subnautica so much, and I said this in my review of Subnautica, was open ocean. It, it wasn't the monsters so much, but it's when I'm in the open ocean, underwater, and I can't, I like, I don't have, like, any sort of floor or wall around me, and it's just blue in every direction. It's terrifying, not because of the monsters out there, but because anything could come at me from any direction. So when I played that game, I often had to, like, have a, a wall or like some sort of frame of reference directly behind me or something just to give me some feeling of like false security <laughs> I could sell that sell my bathing suit yes please I don't think we're gonna use that anytime soon Okay, you need to dispose of some scrap metal. It's always... We always throw scrap in the reef west, or to the southeast. I don't know why reading is so hard for me. I'm sorry, I'm actually quite good at it, but... Talking and reading at the same time, that's what's hard. <laughs> Kenophobia. I, I didn't know there was a word for that. I just know that, like huge open space where you can't see anything around me. Something about that just freaks me out. I'm gonna have to look that up. But yeah, I, I was... I wasn't bothered by the monsters so much as I was just bothered with, like, the open space around me where I, I just... I could be jumped by anything. And it's like, I've beaten this game. I know everything around me. It, it's not even that it was empty space. It was empty space where I couldn't see what was around me. It's like, oh, just the potential of it. Something about, like, swimming, I, I, like, on the surface in, like, open ocean around there was less freaky to me than swimming underwater because something could come from above or below or, like, from any other direction. It's just, it, it's, it's like there's too much to manage at once. Okay, so southeast. So it's probably around here-ish, but... To be fair, the audio in in um, 
Subnautic is also freaky. I think this is actually exactly where we need to drop our, our crap, so throw away. No, I don't want to throw away Mega 8. I need to throw away the scrap metal we picked up. Quest items, maybe? Okay, so how do I... I've never played Sea of Thieves. I, I should probably do that at some point. It's ironic because I actually have some like limited edition Sea of Thieves merch, but I've never played the game. <laughs> All right. Ooh, octopus, 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 octopus. That's cute. And that's why I have one in my Animal Crossing village. I haven't played Animal Crossing in forever. I should do that again. I just transferred all my data to my new Switch just so I can start playing like Xenoblade and the remake to Live Alive and stuff. I'm pretty excited to actually get to that. Because I do like the Xenoblade games. Ironically, I don't think I've ever actually finished one. And I still need to play, um, what is it, The Golden Continent. I've never had a chance to play that one. And I want to get like the Switch version of the original, but I do quite like Xenoblade. Okay, it said southeast, so we actually probably need to head south from where we currently are. Which, if I'm reading this compass right, is this way. Yeah, yeah, the idea of floating in an endless ocean with giant monsters and stuff, that's a bit freaky. You know, if you want to play a game like this that's actually, like, completely safe, go play Actual Endless Ocean. Like, the, the, not the direct sequel, but, like, the one that happened after this. Because that game was literally just open ocean swimming, but nothing could hurt you. Until, like, literally two seconds before the game ends, the game tries to ramp up stakes by saying, Oh, this one thing can hurt you, and you're in a dangerous situation. Ah, oh, but forget it. <laughs> it could be that this is what they're actually talking about, in which case... We actually have to go pretty far on our way, so let's try going super far south and see what happens. I haven't played Endless Ocean in forever. I should probably review it at some point, but I also know all the audio in that game is copyrighted, so... But I remember having a lot of fun with that game. Uh, Endless Ocean? Uh, Endless Ocean was a Wii game. As, as was its sequel. Which is funny because these two games were PlayStation exclusives. So, you know, it's like the first two games were PS2, after that it was all on the Wii. Ooh, big sea turtle. Cool. I think I have, uh... I, I think I've got a couple of videos on Endless Ocean, actually. I've got, I've got, like, a gameplay video of the original, and I think I've got a Let's play, or at least a, a first impressions thing of its sequel, because I got it a few years back off of Facebook, and I thought, hey, I want to show this game off, because they actually added, like, danger to it, which was weird, because the first game was completely free of danger. I mentioned it earlier, because, like, there was all sorts of sharks and stuff in the original Endless Ocean, but, like, it was a game without any threat whatsoever. Like, there wasn't even, like, an oxygen like counter if I recall so you could just pet any sharks in fact you had to to add uh, their information to your your little fishopedia and at one point like you had to find like this shipwreck and you had to like sit in it for a second and like the tide would pull it out to like this deeper like super underwater like hard to find ghost ship or whatever and inside there'd be like this mutant super angry pissed off shark and, like, every time you try and pet it to add it to your Sharkopedia, it would try and, like, rip your arm off. <laughs> or at least, like, it it was animated to make it look like it was trying to bite you. It was, like, the only thing that ever looked hostile, but it was completely harmless, and it was just so weird. <laughs> it's like, well, that's a bit of a tonal shift. <laughs> Ooh, found something on the... Oh, well, we did. Let's park it and see if our sonar can pick anything up again. Again, it's weird... 
Because I'm not sure if the sonar is picking up where we're looking when we ping it off or where we, like, receive it. But that was an interesting game, because you could, like, teach a, sh a um, like, killer whale how to be friends and, like, teach her tricks and stuff, and, like, various dolphins. And they become, like, your little sidekicks and whatever. Oh, we're not even there yet. We still need to go pretty far south. It was neat. And in the sequel, they decided to add actual danger by giving, like, a, a little, like, high-pitched sound gun to scare off sharks that would attack you and stuff. Which I, I remember thinking was kind of interesting because at least they kind of... Oh, hey, we found a screw. A screw from some kind of machine. Well, that's useless to me. But I mean, at least with those games, when you found treasure, it was actually like physically in the world so you could see it. You didn't have to rely on it invisibly spawning and having to search with a very weird radar system. That was a heavy improvement from from the original Everblue games. Oh, something froze the game there for a sec. Okay, we found some reef. Is this the uh, reef we're looking for? Okay, we need to actually rotate to the east. I think that's definitely something that bugs me. The fact that you can find all these wrecks and stuff and they have like physical objects that you can loot but the rest of the game is just... You can't control where you look. You're stuck at the same height and you can't see physical objects. I had that problem with the sequel as well. That was all fixed with Everblue. That's what we're looking for pretty close. It might be a little bit more around here. I think if I'm reading this right. Uh, we want to be facing roughly here. That's a neat thing. Like, I can actually manually like modify my character's direction based on where I click on the map. That's actually kind of cool. I do like that. So we want to actually be about there, I think. Let's see if we can find anything. It turns out we're super far off course and we just found like the biggest shark's nest ever. And suddenly this game becomes a weird side story in uh, Maneater. Oh man, I want to play Maneater now. <laughs> I never got the chance to play the DLC to Maneater. I kind of regret that. But I hear it's not very good. But I liked Maneater. That was a fun, goofy game. Okay, we should be right basically where we need to be if I'm reading this right. Hey, we found a bus. Why is there a bus all the way out here? <laughs> We're in open ocean. Where did this come from? Did a like ship carrying a bunch of vehicles just drop it in the ocean? The bus became a reef. I'm not sure that's how that happens, but okay. There are little iron plates scattered about. Can I explore the bus? There's a little dust cloud underneath it to show we interacted with it, I guess. Alright. Not sure how a bus got all the way out here. I mean, again, to point out, we're kind of in the middle of open ocean. I think the only island around here is you know, over here where we started, so, you know, I, I don't know how this bus got here, but it somehow got out here, but I can't search it for valuables, so that's kind of useless. Alright, so we've started to become more used to diving. Got some more stamina, that's good. Oh, yeah, okay, so here's the challenge. I mentioned this earlier. This guy challenges you to a race around the boat. They even tell you exactly what he equips to do it, but, and, and you'd think if that's the time that was set using that gear, that would be, like, the optimal gear to actually do it. Uh, no. 
He's, it's actually really bad gear, and it's actually faster than you possibly can get with that gear, unless maybe you're a TAS or something. Faster beats deeper. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to beat you in a race now, so fine. Fine, I'll do it. Let's grab some water. There really aren't that many games about scuba diving, as far as I know, like... I think on the PS1 there's a game called Treasures of the Deep. That's a game I'd like to play, but... There really aren't that many. There's like Everblue, Everblue 2, Endless Ocean, Endless Ocean 2. It's... Like, you can maybe make the case for DSV on the Genesis, maybe. But, I don't know. So the whole thing about this race course is you kind of have to just not bump into anything. You have to take, like, turns as tight as possible. <laughs> if I remember, like, I, I've not done it myself. This is my first time actually playing this, but... Like, I've, I've read forum posts about how obnoxious this is. Because <laughs> he does set, like, a, a course record that's, like, just absurd. Bear in mind, I don't think any of this is an actual playable space if you actually go and explore the ship. I'm pretty sure there's only, like, that outer port and a couple, like, inner rooms that we explored, and that's kind of it. This is just, like, a completely bespoke area for this. But the fact that they turned this into a race course is kind of interesting. Yeah, I gotta admit, the, the music's definitely making this sound a lot more intense than it actually is. It's not like I'm being followed by a shark or something. <laughs> It's just I got challenged by a, a rival diver to beat his race course time, I guess. Uh, which way? Which way? This way! Uh. Alright. 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 We're good. Yeah, there we go. It's only been two minutes of this. It's nice that it's not draining my stamina, at least, but I guess we're not below our, our requirements. It is draining our air, though. Not that it's too much of a threat that we're actually going to drown doing this. We need some better flippers. Spooky goal! Yeah! It does sound like an escape scene. There we go. Good enough. <laughs> yes, the rival diver is actually a killer. Get out of the shit. Well, I would have died because I took a minute longer than he did. But yeah, it, it'll even tell you what he's wearing. So. It's like he's wearing a dry suit, speed fins, he's wearing nothing miscellaneous, he's got a Trimix 3, whereas I've got a wetsuit, duck feet, and an air tank 100. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat your thing until I get significantly better dive gear, but I don't think I can buy anything from here either. So, where we go next is the question, because I don't think that's actually tied to the thing. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta get that stone checked out. So let's go do that. Oh, and we got uh, Pagio's coin. Cool. Oh, I think this guy's selling dive stuff. And also I can look at the fountain behind him because that's clearly what I'm clicking on. Uh, how do you make money? What you do is you find... Using your radar or going into like a... Um, or a wreck, you find random crap lying around. You pull it out of the water, you take it to the appraisal shop, they tell you what it is and what it's worth, and then you sell it. Alright, so you're selling all your scuba crap. Well, I need scuba crap, so let's see. Alright, well, obviously, I already have a ducky thing. I could use a light suit, though. I could use an air tank 80. 
and I'll take that small sack and we'll see what we can do to equip some stuff. So go to gear. You'll notice that it doesn't exactly give you any information on what this stuff is. That's a bit of a problem. Seawalkers. Okay. Alright, we're, we're in the fancy part of town, the freaking rich district. Also, branded by Akira, or Arika, the, the people who made the awesome Tetris Grandmaster games. I would like to buy and sell some stuff. Oh look, it's the stuff I probably should have been saving up for. <laughs> I just spent all my money on less good stuff. Oh good. I would like those speed fins, please. Well, we'll have to hold out for better stuff. We'll try to do that speed thing again. Alright, so I gotta talk to a professor person. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed in your fancy pants hotel in my dive suit and my flippers. That's just rude. Also, I'm looking for a professor person. Ah, oh, you're in the astronomy club. Well, that's not useful at all. Oh, you're exactly the person I'm looking at. You're not even looking at the camera, Dr. Roberto. Fine. Alright. So let's try and do that race again and see how much faster we've gotten. I think that's kind of a jerk move. I'm going to put a character in front of you that's going to sell you all this dive equipment, and then the next room, we're going to sell much more expensive, better diving equipment. <laughs> I got an old friend from letter. It's the only friend I know. Currently living on the mainland. I've decided to not be a thief trying to steal from museums anymore. <laughs> Good for you, Marco. I believe Isabella's over here. Yeah. Tell her everything. Or comfort her. Uh, let's tell her everything. There. We, we were a good person to Isabella. The lady who I only know because uh, she hangs out near where Marco stood at one point. Alright, let's try and do this race again. So we have to shave a little over a minute off our time. Nice thing about having faster flippers, though, is that even if we're not doing a race, we'll be able to stay underwater longer just by virtue of the fact that we can cover more ground faster. That said, I don't think we're actually properly equipped to try and beat this record yet, but we'll be able to see the difference between our previous record and this one. But yeah, I think you need, like, significantly better stuff. Oh, I just bonked off everything. Uh. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably not fine. Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Don't know what just happened there, but I just got shunted by nothing. It's probably a blue tang just hit me from the side and knocked me sideways. Okay, so, our, our dear friend Sao is just about to finish the, the race. About 10 seconds to go. And he's about done. But that did get us, like, almost a minute faster, too, so that's not bad. I don't need to race again. We, we still need better stuff before we're going to beat him. But on the bright side, we did shave off almost a minute. Okay, so he had a dry suit. We had the same fins. He had the Trimix 80 and... Okay. I'll beat you yet. Either way, let's go find out what that magic rock we had is all about. Okay, mineralogist guy. 
It's a red Chalkia. It was stolen from a national museum some years ago and never seen again. It was this gem that his teacher spent years looking for. Huh. And it was in the possession of a famous archaeologist who disappeared 60 years ago. Interesting. Okay. And it might still be in the Juno. If you want to know more about the Juno, you should talk to Captain Marcello. Okay. I'm guessing we gotta go back to the... That's Carlo. Dino. Okay, so we gotta find a Marcello. Gallo. That's Massimo. There we go. Alright. So his grandfather was the captain. Juno was sailing from Africa to Europe about 60 years ago, went down some incident. The other Titanic. It's too dangerous. Uh oh. I guess we're having to be a better, better uh, scuba diver than Sal then. Okay, well, fine. I'm just gonna have to try and make this work. So let's sell everything we have. And maybe we'll be able to buy slightly better stuff. Oh, I can sell both of those. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah. Well, you have a good anniversary. I appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so. Let's get... The dry suit might help. But the tri mix, that's that's an oxygen tank though. I don't think that'll make us faster. The wet suit, or rather the dry suit might, however. I don't know. So let's try. All right, so we just need the tri mix, which we need about 6,000 more points at it. Counterpoint. We're trying to take a swing at Sao and drown him and take all his stuff. Okay. Let's try and beat his record. So we gotta beat this to proceed. So let's try it. Basically, we have to beat a minute 22. Okay. We didn't actually equip the dry suit, did we? Whoops. To be fair, we've already proven to be a better diver than Sal, though. Like, we, we found this place before him. We got the better treasure. It's not like beating this guy is going to prove that we're a better diver than him. We've already effectively done that. Oh, God. That's probably going to immediately take away any chance of actually succeeding. Oh, that probably did too. Like, I, I I, just recall being told specifically, the moment you bump into anything on this race course, you're just, you're done. Okay. Alright. See what we can do. Whoa! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We only have 10 seconds left, but it's fine. Come on. Come on. Oh. oh. Well, I beat her time, but. It's not good enough. So we gotta shave like three seconds off our time. Somehow. Somehow we have to do that. I don't know how we're going to do it, but somehow we're going to do it. Or this is as far as we're going to be able to ever get in this game. And to be fair, my entire goal here was to, you know, just make sure my PS2 is working. And so far we haven't had a single hiccup here, so that's, I guess, effectively proven it. But 
you know, I'm invested in this now. Now I want to see what this Juno ship is all about. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, there's no way we're beating this. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. It's fine. It's fine. It's probably not fine. Remember when this was a fun scuba diving game and not stressful? That was kind of nice. I missed that. Oh god, I forgot about this turn. Okay, it's pretty much a straight shot, I think, but there's no way we're beating it. And just ricocheting off that chunk has told me, yeah, we've lost. This is where I need the nitrous booster. Oh, come on. Uh, two milliseconds shorter. Okay, let's race again. Let's try again. Go! Let's just try not to careen into anything. Worst case scenario, we go to explore the ship a whole bunch and get a bunch of stuff so we can get better stuff. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do, but... It's not what I'd like to do, you know? Okay, come on. Need to make sure not to ricochet off there. The problem is it's <clears throat> really hard to kind of figure out exactly where your character's begins and ends. You know, because you're, you're not effectively playing a person, you're playing a big square refrigerator that acts as a person, but you can't exactly see where your refrigerator body begins and ends. So you just sort of have to hope you don't bonk into stuff. Alright. Come on. Come on. Okay. Should be one more turn to the right. Should be right about here. I don't think I took that turn anywhere near as well as I should have. Okay. Straight shot. Gotta get there in the next five seconds. Two, one, done. Credit where credit's due, we shaved off a minute, or a minute a second, but... <laughs> let's let's see about resting up and maybe getting some, some food and... Uh, Maybe some better stuff at the inn. Oh god, I still have to like shave three seconds off. Alright, sleep. I think the idea to make a lot of money right now is to go and... Ooh, we don't want anything to do with that stone. Why not? Head out to sea, and we'll go to the ferry. Because the ferry is where we can find some stuff. And notice that there's not really a race course around here. As far as I can tell, and it just ends here. So that whole race course here is just kind of nonsense. I think it's ostensibly supposed to be like a lower deck or something, but... Yeah, it doesn't actually exist. Okay, so what's the sea chart worth? Four... Uh, 2,800. How much space do we have? 1,500, okay. There. Because I think we need about... About... About, about, about 4,000... To... Afford the next chunk of equipment that we can buy, but... I'm not sure how useful any of that actually will be. So let's make it aid. That's not going to be super useful. That's worth 800. Alright. Because alcohol, it's worth something, I guess. I don't know, I don't drink. That I, f I feel like this random nonsense on this desk should be a thing. But it doesn't appear to be. Hold on. Mm. Swimming backwards messes with height. You can't, like, swim and look down. Alright, so let's grab this cloudy bottle. 
There's nothing more down there. We've got a book that is... That's worth a lot for weighing very little. I'll take that book for sure. Got another cloudy bottle. That's a catalog of alcohol. I feel like I feel like you need that and and those various alcohols and you can probably give them to someone for something. Hey, a lamp. Hold on. Eh. There we go. Like I said height and reversing is a little weird. Fairy lamp. It weighs a lot, so let's not do that. Actually, if we're going to be overweight, we might as well go full on. Just slam everything into our thing. We've already wasted about a third of our energy, but I think we can make it. I think we can do it. There's a book. Grab the book. Don't care if it's too heavy. We're taking everything. This dirty map. Put it in the book. Put it in the bag. Uh, 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 fancy glass bottle. Eh. No, I, I don't want to reverse upwards. I just want to reverse. You know, the rest of the game... This is probably why the rest of the game you don't have the ability to like modify your height, because reversing doesn't make a lot of sense in, in three dimensions like that, I guess. Mega aid. I don't even need it, but I can sell it, so I'll take it. I notice that we're losing a little bit of stamina every time I add something. That's a bit concerning. Alright, we got everything, so let's... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. I almost forgot our old pal, the guide to random crap in the area. It's not worth much. Certainly not worth the wait, but... Go to service. And let's see what we can sell. Alright. So let's appraise all the stuff. Appraise that. Appraise that. Fairy lamp. That's... 2,000 to appraise. This better be worth something. It's a desk lamp. Thank you. Whoopsie. I didn't want to stay the night. <laughs> oh, well. So let's sell some stuff. Diving life. Sell that. Expired mega aid. He has 107. It's in the whole... It's so old you can't read the expiration date. That's concerning. Uh, sell the lamp. So the lamp's worth 4,200. That's not bad. Photo of a ship. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, nautical map. Sell that. And the rest of these are alcohol and a catalog of alcohol. And I'm pretty sure there's an NPC we can talk to about this. But, let's see, I got one of those. I don't have Trimax yet, got the speed fins. Don't have the large sack, but. I'm hoping that'll at least give us some sort of speed boost. So who looks like they would, you might like alcohol. Capocho from the heaviest he's the heaviest drinker on the island. Alright, I don't care to hear your story actually, but I do have a bunch of alcohol if you want it. To be fair, it's been underwater forever. I wouldn't imagine it's all that great. It's probably got seawater in it, because I don't think those bottles are entirely airtight. I'm not getting anything about this either. Oh well. Maybe I'll get a coin for this or something. Well, that's a thing I did. Alright. 
Well, that was why wildly useful. Except not. I wonder if I have to throw all these player, like, er, player, uh, NPC coins into the fountain and, like, maybe I'll get some super cool stuff. So these things are actually things I already had. Like, this is your starting stuff, effectively, except for, like, the, the small sack. Okay, and we've equipped all that stuff, so we should be about as good as we possibly can be to beat this guy. So, yeah. The only difference is now I got the Trimix. Hopefully that'll somehow help me shave off, like, two seconds. Because I seem to be a little bit stuck until I beat this. I do appreciate that there's, like, something like this in this game. Like, you know, it, it's different than, like, the treasure hunting. It's different than the just swimming around an open ocean nonsense, but... To lock plot behind it seems like a bad idea. Especially when it's very, very tightly made, it feels like. The, the requirements for it are very... Unforgiving. Alright. Ooh. Oh, I'm too high up. I'm gonna hit that. Yep. That's not good. It's not good at all. Just gonna take a swing around here. I don't think we're gonna beat this. It's annoying because you have to kind of like... You have to control using both your sticks. It's almost like a Katamari of sorts. I don't think we've gotten any faster, and to be fair, I can't imagine why swapping an oxygen tank would make you go faster, but... And there's a time limit. Alright, well we shaved off about half a second. Alright, one more go. It's getting close to like 7 a.m. I, I really do need to go to bed soon, but. It's a shame I can't just, you know, throw the rival into the ocean and steal all his stuff and just say I'm a better diver. I mean, I've already effectively proven I'm a better diver. I, I feel like this recognition is pointless. I wonder if there's a way to gadget racers this and like ricochet off a wall in such a way that it gives me a speed boost. Now maybe that's just a sign I played way too much gadget racers. But at the same time, if we could do it, we should absolutely do it. I think we're behind about four seconds. We're normally at about a minute 11 right about now, so yeah, we're, we're way behind. There's no way we're going to win. Oh, and there's time. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, so that's not so good. And I remember reading at one point, like, in order to beat this, you shouldn't use what he uses, you need something better, but I don't know where that is right now. So, at about almost two hours, I think we'll call this little test on making sure my PS2 hasn't exploded for the night. But I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know we go live. We train stream as often as possible, usually three or four times a week. Uh, might be back with Skies of Arcadia tonight or tomorrow, we'll see. I've, I've got about four different videos I'm, I'm editing right now, so we'll see. But you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel, see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is talk about weird, obscure import games I have a passion about, also while testing my PS2 to make sure that's not busted. 
But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.